Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, and welcome to The Laboratory video series. I'm Monica Chirukuri, working as lead researcher for Data Cognitive and RPA teams here at Miracles Innovation Labs. Today, I'm going to explain you about um, how we uh, combined RPA and chatbot for managing table reservations at restaurants. Here is our agenda for today. First, I'm going to explain about what cognitive process automation is, and then I'm going to tell you the benefits of combining chatbot and RPA for a solution. I'm going to give a brief overview of the use case at hand, and then I explain about the benefits of automating this process. I'm also going to let you know about the technologies that we used for building these solutions, and then I show you an architecture flow and then a live demo. Automating business process is nothing new to organizations, yet they always look for uh, new ways or new paths to automate their process. Cognitive process automation is the most trending way of doing just that. So Miracle offers process automation in two ways. Uh, one is RPA and the other is through uh, conversational chatbots. When you have a lot of uh, repetitive tasks which doesn't require much decision making, uh, then we can go ahead with RPA. Coming to conversational chatbots, uh, they can understand users' questions even in natural language and respond accordingly. So for the user, it would just be like talking to a virtual person. When you have traditional systems which doesn't provide any kind of integration support, uh, that's when RPA is best used. But when backend integration is provided through APIs and requires more user interactions, then we can use chatbots. There may come a situation where you need to automate processes without integration to backend and maintain a continuous conversation with the user at the same time. Um, that's when we can combine RPA and chatbot and use them in harmony. Our use case today is uh, managing table reservations at restaurants. So let me outline the steps of how we did that. What does the chatbot do in this process and what does RPA take care of? Let me explain you all that. First, when a user wants to search for available restaurants, he starts conversing with the chatbot. Then the chatbot asks a few questions like how many people would they like to book the table for, on what date, and all the other details. Once it gathers all those details, it stores in a database and creates a file trigger. That file trigger starts the RPA bot. The RPA bot opens the OpenTable website in a browser and start searching for restaurants based on the details that were uh, gathered by the chatbot from the user. So if no restaurants are available, uh, the same uh, will be informed to the user. If the bot was able to find any restaurants, like any available restaurants, those details will be stored in a database so that the chatbot can get those details, I mean read those details from the database and display them to the user. Then user can select the restaurant name, chatbot gets the confirmation from the user, which will again create a trigger for RPA. So this time, the RPA bot will again open the OpenTable restaurant uh, website and it books the table. So if the table is booked successfully, uh, we'll get a confirmation message. That confirmation uh, message will be sent back to the user. So these are the benefits of uh, automating this uh, table booking process, I mean automation. Uh, since the process is completely automated, it will be available 24-7, reduce cost and also reduce time. I mean, it reduces the time taken to go through all the sites and all. Uh, using this automation, the user only interacts with a single channel, and that is Telegram, which we've used here. And the user doesn't have to go through different sites searching for restaurants and all. He can get his request passed through in instantly, like this improves user experience at a high level and provides customer satisfaction. So here are the technologies that we used for building this automated solution. We used Dialogflow for building the chatbot with Telegram as channel, and we used Node.js as middleware, which basically connects both Dialogflow and the backend database. We used Microsoft Azure SQL database to store the available restaurant details, and then Automation Anywhere for creating the RPA bots. Here is the architectural flow. Users will interact with, with the chatbot through Telegram channel. All the user requests goes through Node.js code which is hosted on Azure. The request is sent to Dialogflow to identify the intents and the related response that we get from Dialogflow is sent back to the user. 
We created two RPE bots over here, one for uh, fetching the available restaurants based on uh, user requirements, like based on the details that the user gives, like which date they want to book the table on and for how many people and all the other details. It will uh, basically search for uh, the restaurant and uh, give the details back. And the other RPA bot will take the confirmation from the user and uh, books the table and then sends the confirmation message back. Let's see a live demo of this uh, automated solution. So here is the bot. Let me start by saying hello. So the bot says I'm the smart assistant and all. We book a table for me. It's asking me for cuisine, Thai, uh, which city, let's go with Chicago. What date, let me say February 14th. Time uh, before 10. People book for five members. Okay, um, so now that the bot got all the details, it will create a file trigger in the backend. And as you can see, uh, the RPA bot has already started. So it will get all the details that I gave in the chatbot and it enters it into the OpenTable website and start searching for the restaurants with those details. You can see that it uh, it has given the date, time, and people, and then also Chicago Thai, and then now it's searching for the restaurants. Once it got the list, the bot will uh, read all the restaurant names, and now it's placing all those restaurant names in an Excel sheet. So the names that uh, that we got from the search with the details that I gave will be placed in this Excel sheet. Um, the bot will also place all these details in the uh, database as well in the backend. So not only the restaurant names, uh, it will also um, get the times um, uh, and all the uh, available times and all the other details and it will place all of them in an Excel sheet and also in the backend database at the same time. So here you can see it's all uh, it's already placing all the time slots. Once it's done, the bot will read all the data from the database and then uh, gives back to the user in the chatbot. So let me go ahead and select a restaurant, El Barreto, at um, maybe 9.15 uh, p.m. Once I click on that, um, it will ask for confirmation. Uh, it will give the details uh, which I gave earlier, the date, time, and all. And then it will ask for confirmation. Let me say yes. It's also giving the map location of the restaurant. Now it will uh, create a second file trigger. Uh, you can see the second RPA bot running already. So this time the bot will give all those details and goes for the restaurant that I selected and then it will uh, book the table with the details. Now uh, you can see the conf your reservation is confirmed. This confirmation ID, uh, please remember that it's 228. So and the same will be sent back to the chatbot, so the chatbot can display it back to the user. So let us see. Yeah, here. So the reservation is confirmed with the ID 228. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.